everybody, Danny Coker here, AKA The Count. Thanks for tuning in to The Count's Customs YouTube channel. Known as the charismatic host of Counting Cars and a familiar face from Pawn Stars, Danny Coker is a force to be reckoned with. But there's more to this remarkable individual than meets the eye. In our quest for captivating stories, there are very few that can hold a candle to the true automotive icon, Danny the Count Coker. With his magnetic personality and undeniable talent, Danny has carved a unique path in the world of entertainment and music. Prepare to witness the fusion of classic cars and the pulsating rhythm of rock and roll as we unveil the secrets that lie within. What has he been up to lately? What hidden projects and ventures lie in the shadows, waiting to be unveiled? The answers await, shrouded in intrigue and anticipation. Who is Danny Coker? Introducing Danny Coker, the American media personality, musician, and business magnate. But he's not your ordinary guy. This 66 got a ton of potential, man. I love C2s. This could be the project I'm looking for, plus. Danny is famed as the mastermind behind the jaw-dropping transformations of classic automobiles and motorcycles on his hit show, Counting Cars, which serves as a spin-off of the long-running reality TV series, Pawn Stars. Brace yourself as we delve into the suspense-filled world of Count's Customs, a high-end automobile restoration service based in Las Vegas, spearheaded by the charismatic Danny Coker. Since its debut in 2012, Counting Cars has taken the entertainment industry by storm, thanks to its never-ending parade of custom hot rods and choppers that grace the doors of Count's Customs. But this show wouldn't be the same without the magnetic presence of Danny Coker, orchestrating incredible deals for the vehicles that pass through his shop, sometimes flipping them for a profit that leaves us in awe. Yet, as success often attracts both fortune and misfortune, legal issues seemed to trail in Danny Coker's wake. In 2014, just two years after the series premiered, a lawsuit was filed against Count's Customs, plunging Danny and his team into a courtroom battle. We'll uncover the intriguing details of that court case, shedding light on the challenges faced by the beloved star. However, Danny Coker's story is not limited to his endeavors on counting cars. We'll delve into his early life in Cleveland, exploring his roots in the music industry and the fascinating journey that led him to become a renowned figure in the automotive customization realm. As we embark on this riveting exploration, we'll also cast our gaze towards the future of counting cars. What lies ahead for Danny Coker and his beloved show? Early Life Born on January 5, 1964 in Cleveland, Ohio, Daniel Nicholas Coker II, known as Danny Coker, grew up in a family deeply connected to both cars and music. His father, who worked at the Ford Motor Company, was not only an employee, but also a musician associated with groups like the Oak Ridge Boys and Foggy River Boys. Following in his father's footsteps, Danny embraced music and performed in the Coker family band. At the tender age of 11, Danny took the spotlight and performed on stage at Carnegie Hall. igniting his passion for music. Today, he records and performs with his band, Count 77. <laughs> However, while music was a significant part of his life, Danny's father needed a day job, and he found work as an official at the Ford Motor Company. It was his father's position that led to a pivotal moment in Danny's life. At the age of eight, he received a cruiser as a gift, sparking his enduring love affair with automobiles. Growing up in Detroit, Danny spent his formative years in a city known for its automotive heritage. Inspired by the gift from his father, he taught himself how to restore cars as a hobby, eventually realizing it could be a viable career path. Danny's journey into the realm of reality TV began with his family's venture into the entertainment industry. The Coker family purchased Las Vegas Channel 33, and Danny started appearing as a character, Count Cool Rider, hosting a series called Saturday Fright at the Movies. Balancing his television persona with his growth Growing restoration business, Danny established Count's Customs, a shop specializing in restoration and customization. As his business flourished, Danny's focus shifted towards crafting custom hot rods and choppers, catering to specific customer demands. His expertise and reputation caught the attention of the popular reality TV show Pawn Stars, where he made several appearances as the owner of Count's Customs. He also showcased his skills on other shows like American Restoration. With his name gradually becoming synonymous, with the world of customization, the History Channel began to recognize Danny's talent and passion. They saw the potential in creating a show centered around his work, leading to the birth of Counting Cars. The show quickly gained massive popularity, 
captivating audiences with the fascinating transformations and incredible deals negotiated by Danny Coker. As the journey continues, Danny Coker remains a prominent figure in the realm of customization and reality TV. His passion for cars, motorcycles, and music runs deep, and his presence on screen continues to captivate viewers around the world. The future holds exciting possibilities for Danny and the world of counting cars as they continue to push the boundaries of automotive restoration and entertainment. The Count Counting Cars is not just any reality television series. It's a phenomenon that has captured the hearts and minds of automotive enthusiasts and TV viewers alike. At the center of this captivating show is Danny Coker, a true legend in the world of automobile restoration and customization. Before Counting Cars came into the picture, Danny had already made a name for himself as an expert on Pawn Stars. His encyclopedic knowledge of classic cars and motorcycles, coupled with his magnetic personality, quickly made him a fan favorite. And it was only a matter of time before he took the spotlight and became the driving force of his show. As the owner and operator of Count's Customs, Danny's contributions to counting cars cannot be overstated. With his extensive experience and passion for all things automotive, he brings a level of expertise that sets the show apart. Alongside his team of skilled professionals, he breathes new life into classic automobiles and motorcycles, transforming them into stunning works of art. Every episode showcases their incredible craftsmanship and attention to detail, making viewers marvel at the beauty and precision of each restoration and customization project. Similar to its sister show, American Restoration, Counting Cars takes viewers on a journey behind the scenes of the restoration process. It's not just about the finished product, but the blood, sweat, and tears that go into bringing these vehicles back to their former glory. From stripping down a rusty chassis to meticulously hand-painting pinstripes, the show captures the intricate and often challenging aspects of the restoration and customization work at Count's Customs. But Counting Cars is not just about the cars. It's also a glimpse into the dynamics among the cast members. Working in a high-pressure environment, conflicts occasionally arise within the team. These moments of tension and camaraderie add another layer of drama to the show, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats and eagerly awaiting each new episode. Since its premiere on August 13, 2012, Counting Cars has become a television sensation. The initial executive producers, including history's Zachary Bear and Julian Hobbs, along with the talented team at Left Field Pictures, set the stage for its success. Over time, the executive producer lineup evolved, with Bear and Ed de Rivaz taking the reins at history. Tom Romita, Jonathan Weechi, Simon Thomas and Sean Moran also joined the team, bringing their expertise to the table. Today, Counting Cars has captivated audiences with its winning formula of fascinating restoration projects, charismatic cast members, and the perfect blend of automotive expertise and reality TV drama. It's a show that keeps viewers coming back for more as they witness the magic of Danny Coker and his team, transforming dreams into reality, one classic car at a time. Meet the Counting Cars crew. Kevin Mack, Danny's trusted best friend and fellow car enthusiast, formed a major pillar in the Count's Customs. From the early days when Count's Customs was just Danny's private garage, Kevin has been an integral part of the business. With his keen financial acumen, Kevin acts as the voice of reason, keeping a watchful eye on the budget and reminding Danny not to overspend. He even becomes collateral when Danny takes cars for a thrilling test drive, adding another layer of excitement to their adventures. No efficient operation is complete without Shannon Icow, the shop's lead builder and bike shop manager. For over two decades, Danny has relied on Shannon's unparalleled craftsmanship. Never backing down from a challenge, Shannon showcases his skills on the TV show, bringing Danny's visions to life with precision and dedication. But Shannon's talent doesn't end there. He also takes charge in the kitchen, conjuring up gourmet dishes that tantalize the taste buds of the entire crew. Enter Ryan Evans and Mike Henry, the team's incredibly talented airbrush artists. Recommended by Shannon himself, Ryan assumes the role of the shop's lead painter. As Danny's right-hand man, Ryan lends his artistic vision to conceptualize breathtaking designs for their customization projects. Meanwhile, Mike, known affectionately as Horny Mike to fans, injects the crew with out-of-the-box ideas. When faced with extraordinary projects that demand a unique approach, Mike's creativity knows no bounds. His signature designs often feature 
eye-catching 3D horns, leaving a lasting impression on everyone who lays eyes on them. In the realm of finances, Scott Jones takes the reins as the shop's bookkeeper. A master at prodding Danny to stick to the budget, Scott ensures that every project undertaken generates substantial profits, even if it means butting heads with the owner. However, during the show's third season, Scott's path took a different turn. He bid farewell to Count's customs and embarked on a new chapter in Tennessee, where he welcomed his new baby, leaving fans wondering about the impact of his absence. And then there's Roly Sabo, the shop's beloved detailer, who became an instant favorite among viewers, responsible for meticulously washing, polishing, vacuuming, and deodorizing the newly restored cars. Roly ensures that each vehicle shines with unparalleled brilliance. However, his journey took an unexpected turn as he departed from the shop after the sixth season. The circumstances surrounding his exit remain shrouded in mystery, leaving fans to speculate and theorize about the reasons behind his departure. Yet, Roly remains tight-lipped, promoting the show on his social media accounts and leaving fans hungry for answers. Most Notable Restorations Hold on tight, folks, because we're about to dive into the thrilling expeditions of counting cars. Throughout the years, Danny and his crew of talented mechanics and custom car builders have worked their magic on some seriously cool rides. The transformations they've pulled off will leave you breathless. Buckle up as we take a closer look at a few of these jaw-dropping builds that have left a lasting impression. First up, we've got the iconic 1968 Bullet Mustang. This beauty made its debut in the pilot episode, courtesy of none other than Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars. Now this Mustang was a real rough diamond when it landed in Danny's hands. But Rick had a vision, a vision to transform it into a bullet homage, all while keeping things within a modest budget. And boy did Danny and his team deliver. The boys worked their magic on this pony car, and the result? Well, it's safe to say that fans went wild for it. It paved the way for about 180 more astonishing episodes. Now let's shift gears and take a look at something a little different. Enter Sparkles 2 the dune buggy. This unique dune buggy may not fit the mold of the muscle cars that the team typically tackles, but that didn't stop them from giving it the Count's Customs treatment. They decided to go all out with a custom paint job, playing with different shades of blue to make it truly stand out. And of course, they couldn't resist adding their special touch. How did they do it? By sneaking in rear lights from a classic Mustang, talk about a one-of-a-kind buggy, but wait, there's more. Feast your eyes on the 1962 VW Carmen Ghia. Now, this may be one of the more understated builds from the Count, but don't let that fool you. It holds a special place in their hearts. You see, this car was built as a heartfelt gift for a crew member's wife. The entire team poured their passion and craftsmanship into creating a stunning work of art. Picture this, a glossy red finish. The car slammed over vintage chrome wheels. It's the kind of masterpiece that's bound to turn heads and bring home trophies. Last but not least, we have the fierce 1955 Chevrolet Gasser. Now, any 50s Chevrolet Gasser is already cool by default, but what Danny and his crew did with this one will blow your mind. They laid down an epic pinstripe paint job that oozes style and attitude, but they didn't stop there. To match the aggressive looks, they dropped a beastly big block V8 under the hood. Just trust, folks, this is the epitome of cool. It's one of those builds that'll make you weak in the knees. And there you have it, friends. Just a taste of the incredible builds that have rolled out of Count's Customs. These cars are more than just metal and rubber. They're works of art, each telling a unique story of skill, creativity, and the relentless pursuit of automotive excellence. The drama... Count's Customs, led by the charismatic Danny Coker, was riding high on the waves of success with their hit TV show, Counting Cars. But just like a high-octane ride tearing down the highway, their journey wasn't without its twists and turns. In 2014, the shop found itself in the crosshairs of a lawsuit, filed by a tenacious couple named Jeanette and Paul. They had entrusted Count's Customs with their beloved 1967 Ford Mustang, dreaming of seeing it transformed into a roaring masterpiece and featured on the show. However, their dreams turned into a nightmare when they discovered that the work hadn't even begun. Jeanette and Paul felt like they had been taken for a ride, their trust shattered like a windshield hit by a rock. They demanded a refund, 
hoping to recoup their hard-earned money and salvage their dreams. But the refund never materialized, leaving them with no choice but to take legal action. With determination burning in their eyes, they filed a claim in Clark County Court, accusing Count's customs of deception and fraudulent withholding of funds. The courtroom became the battleground where dreams clashed with reality, where accusations flew like sparks in a welding shop. Jeanette and Paul sought justice, their voices echoing through the halls of justice like the roar of a muscle car's engine. The fate of their beloved Mustang hung in the balance as the world watched, eager to see if Count's customs would face the consequences of their alleged deceit. It was a pivotal moment for Danny Coker and his shop, a true test of their reputation and integrity. Would they be able to prove that the accusations were unfounded, that their craftsmanship and commitment to their customers were beyond reproach, or would the lawsuit leave a permanent dent in their shiny armor? Will Count's customs emerge victorious, or will they be forced to face the consequences of their alleged deception? Only time will tell in this high-stakes battle of metal and honor, where dreams collide with reality, and the roar of justice echoes through the halls of the court. In 2017, another dark cloud loomed over the once tight-knit family as yet another lawsuit unfolded, exposing the alleged misdeeds of a former employee named Joseph Frontiera. Joseph, a name once whispered with respect within the shop's hallowed halls, found himself at the center of a legal storm. The accusations hurled at him were as shocking as a screeching tire on a deserted street at midnight. It was claimed that he had betrayed the very essence of loyalty by stealing money from the hands that had nourished him. Like a phantom in the night, Joseph was accused of siphoning off funds from Count's customs, greedily indulging in a life of luxury that wasn't his to claim. The hard-earned dollars meant for the growth of the business were allegedly diverted towards personal indulgences, leaving a trail of financial chaos in his wake. A Range Rover gleamed in his driveway, a symbol of ill-gotten gains, while airline tickets whisked him away to destinations unknown. But the reckoning didn't end there. The lawsuit had another damning accusation, one that sent shockwaves not only through the shop, but also the Internal Revenue Service. It was claimed that Joseph, in his grand scheme of betrayal, had neglected his duty to fulfill the company's tax obligations. As a result, an IRS penalty loomed over Count's customs like a storm cloud threatening to unleash its fury. Would Joseph Frontiera be held accountable for his alleged crimes, or would he slip through the fingers of justice like a ghostly apparition? The courtroom doors swung open, revealing a theater of justice where the truth would be sought and the consequences of betrayal would be meted out. As the trial unfolded, the shop's family stood united, fueled by a desire for retribution and an unwavering commitment to the values that had built Count's customs from a mere dream into a roaring reality. It was a battle not only for financial redress, but also for the very soul of the shop. In the roller coaster ride of Danny Coker's life, the road has been paved with unexpected detours and challenges. In 2013, he found himself facing the harsh reality of legal trouble when he was arrested for driving under the influence, a moment that cast a shadow over his otherwise shining reputation. Like a car veering off course, his life took an unexpected turn, and he had to face the consequences of his actions. But the journey didn't end there. In 2022, Danny stunned fans and viewers alike when he made the somber announcement that he would be leaving the show for good. The airwaves seemed emptier without his magnetic presence, leaving fans wondering what had happened to their beloved host. The truth, when revealed, proved to be a sobering reminder of the fragility of life itself. Danny had been battling a fierce storm of health issues, a battle that had nearly cost him his very life. Pneumonia had gripped his lungs, leaving him gasping for breath, while a severe heart infection threatened to steal his heartbeat away. The road ahead was treacherous, and the odds seemed stacked against him. But with the determination of a true survivor, Danny fought tooth and nail, defying the odds and emerging triumphant. The road to recovery was long and arduous, but Danny Coker, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, emerged stronger than ever. His return to the shop was greeted with cheers and applause, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Count's customs, the heart and soul of his existence, beckoned him back, and he answered the call, ready to once again get his hands dirty and breathe life into roaring machines. Though he may no longer grace the television screens as a regular presence on the show, Danny Coker remains the driving force behind Count's customs. 
As the owner and lead technician, he immerses himself in the day-to-day -day operations, lending his expertise and passion to every project that rolls through the shop's doors. But Danny's talents don't end with his mastery of cars. He is a man of many passions, and one of them takes center stage with the rock band Count 77. With his commanding presence and powerful vocals, he captivates audiences with a symphony of sound, proving that his talents extend far beyond the realm of car customization. And there's more. In his quest to conquer new horizons, Danny embarked on a side venture, a rock and roll haven known as Count's Vamped Rock Bar and Grill. This establishment, managed by his devoted wife Carrie, serves as a gathering place for those who share a love for music and a taste for the wild side. Amidst the twists and turns of Danny's life, rumors have swirled like a dust storm in the desert. One such rumor, circulating in 2022, claimed the tragic loss of Carrie in a devastating car wreck. But like a beacon of truth, it was revealed that these rumors were nothing more than whispers in the wind, false tales that had no basis in reality. Carrie remains a steadfast pillar of support for Danny, standing by his side as he navigates the unpredictable roads of life. Through legal troubles, health battles, and the ebb and flow of the spotlight, Danny has emerged as a survivor, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cars, music, and the unwavering pursuit of dreams. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In a surprising turn and sudden twist of events, we come across a scene that adds a sense of mystery and suspense. In this picture, we see Danny Coker, but there's a noticeable difference. He appears to be trapped behind tall prison bars, which creates a feeling of confinement. The confident and lively persona he once had has now become uncertain and secretive. What really happened to Danny Coker? Where did he go? Why has he vanished from the public eye? These questions linger, creating an air of suspense that compels us to seek answers. As we gaze upon this image, we are propelled into a world where the lines between reality and illusion blur where the search for truth takes unexpected turns, and where the vanished life of Danny Coker remains an enigma waiting to be unraveled with quest and pursuit for discovery. We're eager to hear from you. Please share in the comment section which aspect or chapter of Danny Coker's story captivates your attention the most. Is it his journey in the world of classic cars, his enigmatic disappearance, or perhaps his ventures in the realm of music? Join the conversation and let us know your thoughts. Net worth. Not only is Danny Comer a master craftsman, he's also a shrewd businessman. His dedication and passion for his craft have propelled him to great success, both in terms of fame and fortune. With an estimated net worth of approximately $13 million, Danny has not only built an empire at Count's Customs, but has also amassed a personal fortune that reflects his expertise and influence in the industry. His hard work, attention to detail, and commitment to excellence have undoubtedly played a significant role in his financial achievements. But the true testament to Danny's love affair with all things automotive lies in his awe-inspiring collection. Danny's fleet is a sight to behold. Each vehicle, meticulously curated and cared for, represents a piece of automotive history and a testament to his unyielding passion. From classic muscle cars that roar with power to sleek and stylish bikes that hug the curves of the road, Danny's collection is a reflection of his diverse tastes and unwavering dedication to the world of wheels. Every vehicle holds a story, a chapter in the ongoing saga of his love affair with machines that has captivated the hearts of enthusiasts around the globe. So as we marvel at the jaw-dropping net worth, and the impressive collection that Danny Coker has amassed, we are reminded of a man who has not only conquered the automotive realm, but has also left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of those who share his passion. His journey is a testament to the power of dreams, hard work, and an unrelenting commitment to one's craft. His personal life. Danny Coker is currently married to a woman named Corey Coker. The couple tied the knot back in 2015, and since then, Corey has played a significant role in the success of Count's vamped rock bar and grill, where she coordinates live entertainment and other aspects of the business. It is widely recognized that Danny Coker has achieved significant financial success through his diverse business endeavors. Aside from Count's Customs, his restoration shop featured on the Counting Cars TV series, he has diversified his portfolio with other enterprises, including the Count's vamped rock bar and grill, a rock band, a music recording studio, and a tattoo parlor. Cars. 
Danny Coker is indeed an avid car enthusiast, and his collection consists of 58 vehicles and over 70 motorcycles. Among his impressive collection, he continues to drive a 1966 Mustang GT that holds sentimental value as it was purchased by his father Yar when he was nine years old. The Mustang is white with blue stripes and played a significant role in sparking his passion for high-end automobiles in the early 1970s. While Danny has an extensive collection, it seems that the 1972 Lamborghini Miura SV remains a car that eludes him. In a 2013 interview, he mentioned that he had come close to purchasing one around 15 to 20 years ago, but the deal fell through at the last minute. He expressed his ongoing search for the Lamborghini Miura SV, describing it as one of the most beautiful cars ever made. Again, in 2019, Danny still spoke about the missed opportunity, emphasizing that the value of the 1972 to Lamborghini Miura SV has significantly increased over time. Depending on the condition, he mentioned that the car could be worth two to three million dollars by today's standards. Where is Danny Coker now? Too many questions have lingered in the air with his fans eager to know about the whereabouts of what really happened to Danny Coker. Where did he go? In the midst of the mysteries surrounding Danny Coker's life, it's not all gloomy. There is a glimmer of hope that reminds us that even in the darkest times, there is always a chance for brighter days ahead. It's great to hear that Counting Cars returned for its 10th season in September 2021, surprising fans who initially thought the show had been canceled. The first episode featured the renowned Alice Cooper visiting Danny's shop to have his Avanti restored and upgraded. With the show maintaining its popularity and high ratings, there is a possibility that an 11th season will be officially ordered by the History Channel. During the off-season from filming, Danny Coker has more time to spend with his wife, Corey Coker. Regarding their personal life, the couple has stated that they do not have children together and currently have no plans to change their status. Despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, Danny's business empire, which includes Count's vamped rock bar and grill, Count's tattoo company, Count's 77 rock band, and Count's customs auto restoration shop, has continued to thrive. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.